Hi there, coming to you live from Melbourne Beach, Florida, over spring break, giving you a chance to see some of the waves in the back um, and hearing some of the waves. One of the things I wanted to do here was give you a chance to see the most recent mystery tackle box that I got in the mail right before spring break. And it came and I just opened it up. Uh, I brought it with me, waiting for the right time to get by the ocean and be able to record this. And so now it's time to open it up to see what's in there and be amazed. So this was the box for the month of March. And on the inside, like they always have, you have the ruler, you have the catch and win challenge, and all sorts of uh, little facts and bits about tackle. This is the first time I'm looking at it, so right with you, this is the first time. First thing I notice is there's some clips, TF clips. I'd assume this is used to hold your line, uh, help connect your line to maybe, I suppose it could be to some sort of um, rappler or some sort of troller, uh, lure that you would troll, but um, just, you know, little clips. Probably goes fine with this. A blaze orange major craft zoner. Right there, I'm holding upside down. Right there. So you can see that maybe that clip helps with the action um, and allows it to uh, swim more like a I suppose a, a bait fish. Then there's always some soft plastics in with this. This is a four inch and kind of has that feathered type of tail. So it's a scorp tail, scorp a tail, I should say. And um, four inch, I normally use two to three inch, but I could try a four inch and it's a green pumpkin um, flavor. So maybe that's something that the fish like. I don't know. We'll have to find out but green pumpkin. So that's three things. Oh, I think we just had some lightning out here. We had about an inch of rain, just hard rain earlier. Oh, this is cool. It's kind of like a little Swedish pimple spoon. Um, it's called a, a shad kind of spoon, and it's by Binks. This looks cool. Has a little uh, thing to keep you from getting hurt with the clip, but kind of has that, like I say, Swedish pimple look to it. But it's a vertical, I suppose it's a jigging spoon, which would be great in winter especially. But uh, I like this. It's a good looking, good looking little vertical spoon. And then finally, for the lures, it's the creator of the original plastic worm cream, the king of baits. And there's three of these in there. So you can see that, that translucent, that kind of pearl white is what uh, a lot of bass, a lot of walleye go after. This is geared towards being a walleye box. So, and then in the bottom of the box, like they always have, they have the what's inside. And you can see better descriptions than what I gave. So that Zoner Hunter is a $10, $10 lure. The Junior Clips, I don't know if it's a buck ninety-nine. Probably could find them for ninety-nine cents or seventy-nine cents. Although everything's been inflated lately, so who knows? And then a little hand, handy little book. You can unscramble. You can let the kids do this stuff. Unscramble some fishing words. Let's see what else a little book has. Knots, combos, a legend. Um, a wacky rig. I've used a wacky rig for, for things. That's a good way to get bass. Just kind of using that hook and putting the wacky worm, hook it in the middle and allow the, each side of the worm to go over, um, kind of fold over the, the hook, throw it out and let it sink. And then twitch it up a couple times, reel once or twice, let it sink. And you'd be amazed at how many bass go after that stuff. They just, I don't know what it is about a wacky worm. It's, it's just... It's like Little Debbie's. It's like Krispy Kreme donuts. It's like Mountain Dew. It's something they like. 
five trolling tactics for tanker walleyes. So there's a lot of stuff in here. Anyway, so to review, we have this. We have this cool little vertical jigging kind of spoon, which I like. We have pla soft plastics. They always seem to kind of give you a soft plastic. This $10 crank, which I keep holding upside down. I'm just checking it out to see like what kind of hooks it has. It has full size trebles on it for being so narrow and so uh, kind of short. It has a long bill on it. So, and then of course these little clips, which I still can't quite figure out how I'm gonna use them, but I'll give them a shot. Anyway, that was the Carl's Mystery Tackle Box, which you can find at mysterytacklebox.com. And that came for the month of March. And I think in April, I may, well, I may get another walleye box. We'll see what happens, but yeah, pretty excited about it. Um, thanks for joining me on this and give you a chance to see some waves. And you can tell there's a storm that's going to be coming in. But look at that moon. You see that moon? That's beautiful. Almost a full moon tonight. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Till next time.